Sarah from Average Betty here, and I've been noticing a lot of stories about food trends for 2013. And while these food casts may be more of a reflection of the food writer's tastes than where the country is actually headed, you might be wondering, what do these 2013 food trends mean to me? First up is popcorn. That's right, the preferred snack of couch junkies everywhere is now trendy. For most people, hearing that popcorn is a hot food trend is the equivalent of hearing that sweatpants are finally red carpet ready. But don't get too excited. I actually think the experts put popcorn at the top of their food trend lists so we'll actually read them. Next up is hot sauce. There's a lot of new hype about an old condiment called gochujang, accompanied by predictions of a barrel-aged hot sauce explosion. Okay, hot sauce explosion sounds messy, but what this means is condiments, especially those deemed house-made, will be more popular than ever. It could also mean in 2013 you experience more pressure to branch out from Tabasco. Also, according to the experts, fermentation and pickling will be popular food trends for 2013. That means, with any luck, we'll be watching another season of Moonshiners while munching on trendy popcorn. Next on the food trendometer is smoked and cured meats. Don't be fooled by this one, though. It's just a fancy way to say bacon. Newsflash, people will continue to love bacon in 2013. And finally, I would like to make a bold food trend prediction for 2013. Taking photographs of your food is so 2012. 2013 is the year of the food sketcher. And you thought people taking a couple quick photos of their food was annoying. Get my super simple and slightly trendy recipe for buffalo popcorn at averagebetty.com. What do you think about these 2013 food trends? And do you have any bold predictions to add to the list? Find me on Facebook and Twitter and drop by my home at averagebetty.com. Thanks for watching and subscribing. See you next time.